all right guys so now it is time to discuss css basic selectors now what are css basic selectors so actually we have three types of selectors class selectors id selector and tag selectors now we will discuss selectors and we will do some practical work on it so which element or elements the declaration applies to it means that when we use some styling from CSS on HTML element, then we have to target that element. We can target them by using class, by using ID, or by using that element tag name. But before discussing and before going through practical work, we need to understand CSS property and value. Whenever we select or we target tag, and we want to style that tag within the, within that tag that the element that we want to style we have to use some property so property is the property of selected element we will discuss a bit later now as we selected we target element and we want to style it for that we have to use property net now this property must have some values so specification for this property are called value as you can see here we have target h1 basic selector here we use color as a property and this color property has some values like black blue green etc same width property 100 pixel we will discuss uh, in the next video all the colors and backgrounds of CSS for now just focus on basic selectors if you are a beginner okay if we have a paragraph then we have to use uh, p tag now in this video we will just discuss basic selectors selectors mean by tag name if you want to style some text within that tag we have to use we have to target that element using its tag such as h1 p or maybe d or maybe we have more than one now i will discuss a bit later now let first let me show you that how h1 p or div or any tag we used to select it so i want to target within this paragraph within this paragraph suppose we have some text and i want to style it such as i want to change its color width font family etc so i can give it class id or i can directly target its name by tag name we will discuss in next video class and id selectors but in this video just discuss basic selectors now if you want to style same style such as i want to change color uh, of paragraph div and h1 tag or span tag at the same time then i can use descendant selectors it means that i can target anchor tag within anchor tag I, uh, now we know that anchor tag is within list tag and list tag within ul tag now i want to target this anchor tag then i can use now this anchor tag is within ul an unordered list and within list so you have to specify all the all the tags that uh, contains that anchor tag within the all these tags so in in our case we have on order list with after that list and after that anchor tag so let's jump into uh, here so let me create new file and give me name cute three basic selectors okay selectors dot html and enter now let me zoom it so here we have to use boilerplate html boilerplate by pressing shift and exclamation mark enter now this is my cs uh, my html basic uh, document or you can say boilerplate so here give name css basic okay selectors perfect now within body we will do some uh, structure suppose i want h1 within this h1 i want to write something such as this is all about css selectors okay it's perfect now press control press control and enter and you will be on new line okay now let me create here div and within this div let me create paragraph and within this paragraph i want to write some text such as using lorem i150 word 
but this is not good because it's show me in one line and I want them and it is also horizontally and I want this all text on vertical line so let me right click and command palette then go to toggle word now as you can see we have a 12 line here a 12 line uh, we set our text vertically now after this D let me create span tag and within this span let me write here such as just for the sake of tutorial this this is the end okay after this span tag let me create uh, such as um, um, paragraph and within this paragraph let me create some text lorem five word and it will give me this and I want to target this one let me control X and, and I want to bold this so here I will use bold tag and within this I will paste it so this is our basic structure now let me open with live server and as you can see it looks like this this is our h1 this is our d within d we have a paragraph and within this paragraph we have a text and this is span tag and this is uh, the final paragraph and in which we have bold this letter perfect now it's time to do some style so let's use css now in in the previous video i have told you how to link css we can use css styling by using three ways within this tag suppose i want to uh, style this so i can use here style and color such as red so if i open with live server it will be red so you can do this as well but we will use some real stuff so let me remove this from here you can create external css and you can use within html page style as let me show you here you can write here style tag and within this now you can target all the html tags classes ids but in this video we are going to target just basic uh, selectors so first i want to target this h1 and i want to change the color style everything so i will write here within this style tag h1 after that curly braces now here we have to use properties so i want to change the color of the uh, use color property suppose let me give it red and I have I, I can use more than one uh, property within this so let me use another property such as uh, text align and I want to center it now we will discuss colors at, uh, alignment uh, in uh, upcoming videos okay now I want to target div this div so here I will use div and curly braces now I want to change BG color means background color you can use shortcut just write bg c and enter it will be color and i want to give it to such as hawking and the color concept is very important we will discuss we will we will create a separate video on color combination in css we have three combination of color this will be the next video okay now i want to target this paragraph within div so i will use here div and within div paragraph this is descendant uh, selector and I just want to change its color such as blue great now I want to target this span tag okay so let me write here span and I want to give it color I'm using just one property because this tutorial is just about uh, uh, selectors so let me give it black no black is a default so let me no give target. it something. and we have target span and we have target this p as you can see here within this style tag this is called internal css style or within uh, html document style you can call whatever you want now let me open with live server and we will see what is going on as you can see this was our h1 tag we have target and we have changed we have done some style not on it after that we have a div and we just changed the background color of div after that within this div we have used some styling on its text using paragraph yani means div dot para okay after that we have span and we have final paragraph but with, within this paragraph we have just target this one because this was included included this was enclosed within 
within bold take and we have just targeted bold take so this is called descended selectors when you want to target internal sell selector or take such as within unordered list we have a list and within list we have anchor take then you can target anchor by using ul after that li after that a and it whatever you want to implement it will be implemented on that take that you target perfect now let me click right and let me inspect it and i will show you that how you can change color directly from here but first let me zoom it out a bit and let me okay perfect now here you can see this is element and within this element we have a body you can close you can expand it and here i want to go to the style of h1 so click on this h1 and here at the right side you can see we have a style so this is the h1 style now just click on this red box click and it will pop up this now here you can create your own color now i will make changes here and you can see here the changes so let me give it as you can see so you can easily make colors directly from here and you can also make it transparent the second box will show you transparent as you can see now as i have made changes within this color and it provided us this value and this value is called hexa and this is the third type of color that we will discuss in the next video colors and backgrounds and all the types of colors uh, okay here you can also change contrast ratio as you can see you can also change it now i want to change some changes change the color of this one so just target the d first expand it and let me just target the paragraph within this div and here you can see style you have to click on it and it will give you this style and click on this box and change the color but not this color okay this one as you can see so we have changed the text color perfect so that was all about selectors and that was all about just basic selectors in the next video we will discuss id selector and class selector and after that video we will discuss all the css colors and selectors so see you sorry colors and backgrounds so see you there